Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. We have the ability to connect to God through the faculty of Bina, understanding, and by learning Torah we can come to comprehend divinity and it can uh, affect us in every aspect of, of, of our lives. And <clears throat> so it's very interesting that the Rebbe speaks about in Mimer about the, the, how there's 50 levels of Bina, 50 gates of understanding, 50... Uh, it's 50 gates of understanding basically to, to, to understand this better we have many faculties in our conscious reality the 10 Sfirot the 10 Sfirot if, if you've ever heard of the 10 Sfirot in Kabbalah the famous 10 Sfirot they exist within our, within our body represents these 10 Sfirot and we have all 10 of these faculties within our conscious experience so the highest level that we've spoken about in, the, in, in previous videos is Keser, the level of will. When you want something, it is beyond logic. It is your innermost part of you. When you desire something, the potential to, to desire something, it's the innermost part of you. And this always goes back to the relationship, the parent and the child. God willing, a healthy parent has a lot of love for their child and they don't have to explain to themselves why they love their child. It's such an innermost, it's their innermost desire to love their child, so it's, it's, their, it's their deepest conscious faculty. And it's beyond logic. Then we come to the next faculty, which is Chochmah, which in English you would say wisdom. This is the first intellectual, intellectual faculty. This level, Chochmah, is the first revelation into, into, conscious, into intellectual consciousness. This is like the light bulb flash. When you get an idea, you get this flash. Within that flash includes all the details that you're going to come to later on, but they're not yet defined. It's all included in that flash. It's just the, it's the beginning of understand, of the beginning of intellect. It's not yet understood. But you know that you will understand it because there's a flash. There's the conscious um, experience and, and, and awareness of this chokhmah, this level of wisdom. But wisdom is, is, is called chokhmah uh, ve'intimsa. Wisdom comes from nothingness. The level of keter, desire, because it is not intellectual, it is beyond uh, is beyond intellect is called nothingness, so to speak. In Hebrew, you say "in," with it is not. the The fact that the parent loves the child, it's not a. Um, it's so infinite the fact that the parent loves the child, the love the parent has for the child, that it's actually not. It's not even a physical. It's not even an intellectual limitation. It's beyond infinite. Starting now to come into the limit, the realm of limitation, the fusion, the intermediary between unlimited and limited is this level of chokhmah, the flash that you experience when you get a new idea. Then it comes to the level, the next level is Bina, which is understanding. It's also called Ima, the mother, and Chochma is Abba, the father. And Ima is mother, which is Bina, understanding. Bina, understanding, is not the flash anymore. It's now when you start to define all the details. And you can always go deeper into the Sfirot, and there's many different levels within Bina, the higher levels of Bina, the lower levels of Bina. But Bina, in general, as it is as a unit, is when you start to understand this flash. So someone tells you, what do you want to do today? Like, or what do you want to do for someone to celebrate someone's birthday? Boom, you get this idea. And you say, oh, we're going to do a surprise party. We're going to invite all the friends over. So that's already now when this level of Chokhmah is coming into understanding. When there starts to be details and differentiation between this and that, and there's, and there's the fine details, that's already the realm of understanding. So how does this relate to Torah study? How does this relate to our relationship with Hashem? Well, we know that there's 50 gates of understanding. And the level of, Moses received 49, he was aware, he, he experienced, he, he, he received the 49 gates of understanding, but the 50th gate of understanding he did not yet receive. The Rebbe explains how the 49 levels of understanding a person can come to on their own toil, their own effort. When we learn Torah, the whole point of Torah is to take divinity, take godly reality and bring it into our understanding. It's great that we also, of course, we connect to Hashem through Keter, through our will, our desire, and through our Chokhmah, the level of intellect beyond grasping, like this flash of ideas. We connect to God through that as well. But the purpose is to take it and bring it down, internalize it within understanding that we should understand the details and we should appreciate it and grasp these ideas and internalize them. So the whole point is to bring it into, into, into understanding. So as you know, Moses got, had, the 40, had 49 gates of understanding. But the 50th gate he did not receive. Why? The 50th gate, only a person can't reach it on their own. It is through a Shem that they receive it. This is a lesson for all of us in our lives. Why? 
because we should know that as much as we toil and we have to toil and we have to work to reach these levels of understanding and reach these, appre these greater appreciations of Hashem. But the rest is up to Hashem. We could do our best, but there is, we have to appreciate the fact and recognize and acknowledge the fact that the rest is up to Hashem. Hashem is really the one who makes it happen. That we could toil and we could relearn and learn and learn over and over again. But we have to make ourselves a vessel for Hashem to want to give it to us, this understanding, because it's beyond us. It's received from above. So if, how do we make ourselves, how do we make, there's a few ways we can make ourselves vessels to this level of understanding. And we can do this by one, humility. When one is humble before Hashem, they make themselves a vessel to try to work on their humility. They make themselves surrender to Hashem. They make themselves a good recipient for the divine light, for, 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 for the, for, 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 to bring Torah into our intellect and into our emotions. The next is through Simcha. Joy allows your brain to shine, allow, allows your brain to receive the divine light within it. When you're happy, it allows the Chochmah to shine. Rabbi Nachman says this, the Rebbe Rashab says this, that when somebody is happy, it unlocks the Chochmah, the wisdom. That's the level of intellect that we said is beyond understanding. It's that flash. It's the highest level of conscious intellect. That comes down into us. By being happy, you open up. It's like you open up the, the chamber, the gate, the, the river of intellect when you're simple, when you're joyous. You know, you ever notice when someone's in a bad mood, they tune themselves out, they, they're, they're not interested, they can't, they're not even um, responsive to what you're saying to them. But when they're in a good mood, they're going to be listening, they're going to be involved in the details, they're going to be enthusiastic, they're going to be involved. So, 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 so joy allows us to receive greater godly revelation in our intellect. And the next is fear of God. Why did Moshe receive the Torah? Because he feared Hashem. When we fear Hashem, when we bring ourselves, we meditate upon this idea and we allow ourselves to feel in awe and, and, and fear the Creator, we, we make ourselves very um, fit to receive the Torah. When Hashem says, ah, oh, you're humble before me, you're happy and you're, you fear me, ah, oh, now you could receive the Torah. That is like the prerequisite to fear Hashem, to be simcha and to be humble, to be joyous. We make ourselves a perfect vessel to receive Hashem's, Hashem's revelation to us, and, and but we also have to acknowledge that it's from Him. It comes from Him. It's also important that I wanted to, to speak about in this video that it, that the level of Bina, understanding, is, is it's the lower level of, it's lower than Chokhmah, it, but it is the connecting piece to the emotions. When you understand something, that's when your emotions get activated, because as you know, the intellect in the Sfirot, the intellectual um, faculties are above the emotional faculties. The emotional faculties come from the intellectual faculties. The intellectual faculties, as it were, give birth to the emotions. And how does this apply in our everyday life? When we intellectually, when we understand that Hashem is good for me, Hashem's presence is good for me, Hashem's Torah is good for me, I that arouses an emotion of love and fear of Hashem and say, wow, I, I love Hashem, I want to do I fear Hashem, I don't want to transgress. Because the intellect activates the emotions. Especially when you come to understand that way. Because what's, Rabbi Shabbat explained something very beautiful. That intellect is more subjective. Intellect is beyond you. When you're learning Torah in the intellectual way and, and the it's beyond you. It's, 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 it's Torah. And it applies to everyone and the Torah is as it is. But when you understand it, you bring it into you. When you feel love for Hashem and you feel fear of Hashem, you bring the Torah and you make it yours. Because first you have to understand this idea and then you say, wow, this is good for me. And that's the... That's the, the Rebbe Shav explains how that's the emotions within the intellect. Since the emotions come from the intellect, there's a level of emotion within the intellect. And if you could appreciate that Hashem is worth loving... Hashem is worth fearing, that, since there's the emotions come from the intellect, that arouses a love and fear of Hashem. The Ram explains that we don't have to do cartwheels and backflips to make these emotions happen. We just have to acknowledge that Hashem is worth fearing, worth loving, and He is, we will love Him, we will fear Him intellectually, and that will arouse an emotion. And actually, we could go beyond the intellect to know that with our will, we make it our desire to love and fear Hashem. And when we make it our desire to love and fear Hashem, desire is beyond will and desire is beyond infinite, so it automatically arouses an emotion and a fear and a love for Hashem. So let's all have this today, to, to, to meditate upon this, meditate upon Hashem in the intellect, and bring it down into the emotions to appreciate that this is good for me, Hashem is worth my love, Hashem is worth my fear, and we will be aroused to, to, to this incredible drawing and yearning for our Creator. May Hashem bless you all, may we all bring Hashem great pleasure, may the coming Mashiach be today.